Hey guys, my name is Coach Eddie Mason. I'm here today at Nova Foot and Ankle with the amazing Dr. Stan Dickler. Guys, this guy right here is the best foot specialist, podiatrist in the area. I know he wouldn't say that, but I'm going to say it for him. But um, Doc, we just want to uh, thank you for taking time out of your busy day to do this interview with us. Uh, extremely excited. Um, you know, how did you, how did you become a doctor um, in this space and um, What's, what's, what was kind of your passion as it relates to uh, Nova Foot and Ankle? Yeah, I think uh, the main thing is uh, how I got into it. My grandmother, she was a diabetic. Oh, wow. And so because of the diabetes, it caused a lot of foot and ankle complications. And they developed something called uh, neuropathy. And so wow. loss of feeling. So she did end up having some complications. And I was very close to her. So I used to visit her in the hospital all the time. And from there, I got to see multiple specialties kind of work on wow. her in the hospital setting. And so that's when I start to develop my interest in foot and ankle and kind of shadow some doctors. Wow. Right I never I never even knew that, <laughs> right? I just learned something new today. And I've been knowing this guy for a minute. Um, but man, you know, like, uh, obviously you work with uh, people from all walks of life, from all ages. Um, you actually work with my son who plays at the University of Maryland. Um, great work with him. You know, you looked at his, uh, he has some plantar fasciitis. Um, gave him some some great tools and resources. Um, on what to do when you think about like, you know, because most people don't know what a podiatrist is. What is a podiatrist? So basically, you know, after four years of high school, we go to four years of college. I majored in neuroscience and philosophy. Wow. And then after getting those two degrees, I ended up going to uh, med school, so podiatry school. So it's like four years of that. And then we go into three years of uh, basically residency, which is all foot and ankle surgical training. Wow. Yes. Wow, so it is it's an intense program. It is intense program. Yes, so God, we're not talking about somebody can treat just a sprained ankle. <laughs> <laughs> he know the whole foot, you know what I mean? So, but but in stating that, thanks for sharing that information. Um, when you think about, obviously you develop your passion from seeing your grandmother. Um, obviously you should explain a little bit about the science and medical school that you have to go through and the training that you have to go to become a, a elite specialist in this area. Um, tell people a little bit about your credentials. Okay, so I mean, the uh, foot and ankle, after uh, two years in your first four years of medical school, the, the first two years is basically just theory, You're like learning about the, the sciences behind everything. And then your third and fourth year of that training, medical school training, that's where you get to actually get some clinical experience. Wow. And then during after that phase, then you go into the res residency experience. So wow. during my training, I work with 30 different doctors. Wow. And so they train me how to do surgery uh, from the clinic to the hospital setting. Uh, and then from there, after your first year, that's where you kind of uh, learn how to amputate and do other smaller cases. Yes. Oh, you said amputate. <laughs> amputate, yes. Diabetic wow. foot, foot infections. So I've done thousands of uh, amputations. Thousands. thousands, not hundreds. Yeah, thousands. Thousands. And then after your second year, then you start to start to do some of the cases like bunion, hammer toe case, cases, deformities, and forefoot. And then as you get into your third year, you start to do the more of the ankle, the wow. ankle arthroscopies, the ankle fractures, the fra foot and ankle fractures, wow. ligament repairs, Achilles tendon ruptures. Uh, and that's when you do pretty much doing those three years of surgical training. Mm. Uh, and then, so you go into surgery in the hospital setting and then also in the office. So you learn about plantar fasciitis, you learn wow. about the warts, the Achilles tendon, wow. uh, itis, um, and then anything else relating to foot and ankle, dermatological, musculoskeletal, neurological, uh, and then uh, anything else, you know, with, with regards to foot and ankle. Wow. Now, I know that was a whole lot of information. But the reality is the intricacies that go into the detail of the foot, you talk about the number of bones, nerves in the fit, feet. People don't understand like now, even in fitness, in the fitness industry I'm in, um, we now do a lot of uh, ground-based training, like foot, just bare feet, because people, you know, just strengthening the feet, so forth. When you think about like um, something that people could do in order to prevent some of, I mean, obviously there's issues that arise, right? What are some things that, that you would suggest as, as, a, as a proven medical specialist and surgeon, um, what would you suggest some, some things that people could do? Yeah, I think also because I treat a lot of athletes uh, such as your son, uh, and many in the Northern Virginia area have a lot of uh, stress injuries or mm. uh, they may have issues that are more uh, uh, rather than infections and 
uh, poor mm-hmm. health. Yeah. Uh, I would say with that, I think making sure a good support of shoe gear. Mm. Uh, also, when you are going to the gym, because I go to your yep. gym, making sure that uh, you have good uh, flexibility, mm. uh, strength, uh, yes. in order before you just jump in. So if you haven't trained before, and before you kind of jump into running three, five, three to five miles, starting slow. And kind it. of working away, and I know because I was not fit before I came to you, Understood. and because of the training that you helped, you were able to help me, for instance, kind of slowly into and you kind of knew where I need to kind of step into and how much I was able to do. And then by doing that, I think uh, slowly entering to training, if you are mm-hmm. going to be doing a marathon, uh, just slowly stepping it up, and then wearing good appropriate shoe gear. Uh, I think those type of tips can be helpful. Yes, sir. Thank you for that. Yeah. Um, stretching. Yes. When you think about stretches, um, what's one what's one stretch that you would be like? This is one stretch you everybody needs to do. Yes. Yeah, so, so with regards to stretching, I know a lot of people they're trained to stretch beforehand, yeah, which is good, but also afterwards. Mm. So I think stretching afterwards will be definitely critical because your muscles are warmed up, uh, and then doing those type of stretching afterwards, cooling down, those type of stretching can be helpful. And I think the definitely for us as a yeah. foot and ankle specialist. The posterior calf muscles, oh. the Achilles tendon, uh, and then the hamstrings. Those areas, everything from the superstructural, uh, from the hips down, those type of stretching. And I know we do dynamic stretching. Yeah. So a lot of times we do di- uh, static stretching, but Correct. doing dynamic stretching, uh, where you're actually moving and stretching, is far superior wow. than just the static stretching. That's and beautiful. So I think you warm up and stretch at the same time. Got it. Thank you for that. Yeah. I hope you guys got this <laughs> now. We're two men of great faith too. So faith is a paramount. You have a beautiful family, two amazing daughters, um, a wonderful wife. Um, Faith is like something that I know is near and dear to your heart. What would you want to share to the audience today? Just something that that from your heart. Well, Jesus says, I'm the way, the truth, Mm. and the life. No man comes to the Father but Mm. from him. And so definitely faith played a big role in my life. And Mm. without him, Nothing is possible. Uh, so my motto when I was in college was anything is possible with God. Yes. So my friends who were of different faiths, they knew that about me and uh, just living out that faith, you know, yep. in this world. Um, so uh, for me, I know five, six months ago, uh, or actually a couple of years now, uh, just posting stuff on Facebook, yes. Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, uh, just not being ashamed of the gospel. Yep. Just being able to share Amen. how God has worked in my life and being a testimony for him. And this practice, you know, That's and it. living, uh, being a mission field to That's be able it. to share the gospel and kind of share what God has done for me. So there's opportunities in my practice where I help patients physically, but also there's when I get to know them, yes. how God, the Holy Spirit allows me to kind of right. share the gospel. With Amen. Them Amen. Amen, man. Amen. And we're, when we're going to keep being champions for Christ, <laughs> and we hope you guys will continue to be champions in your endeavors in life, continue to keep God first in all things. Christ is the center. He is the center. He is what keeps us focused and, and, and trudging forward towards godly purpose and life and mission. But, uh, Doc, I want to thank you, Nova Foot and Ankle, uh, helping you walk your path. Okay, You guys are looking for the best foot uh, podiatrist, specialist, surgeon, medical, everything right here, the guru, Dr. Stan Edicular, located in Herndon, Virginia. Oh, yeah, by the way, tell them um, how can they reach to you? Yeah, so our office, we're www.novafootandankle.com. Uh, so we're located in Herndon and also uh, Springfield, Virginia. So two office locations. Awesome. Hey, guys, we hope to see you soon. And thanks for this uh, fitness interview with Mace Training 2.0. Dr. Edicula, thank you so much, brother. Mm-hmm. Love you. Thank you. Appreciate you. I appreciate you. God bless. <laughs>